All right, Mike, thank you. Well, tomorrow is the start of Rosh Hashanah, also known as the Jewish New Year. Yes, Rabbi Kaim Lazaroff is here to tell us all about the holiday that's been celebrated for more than a thousand years. Welcome. Good Always morning. nice to see you here. Thank you. Let's walk through some of the traditions because you brought in some ideas just to give us a better idea for those who don't know about it. Yes, so actually we've been celebrating Rosh Hashanah for 5,784 years. Mm -hmm. There you go. 5,784 years since the creation of the world is what it marks mm -hmm. the creation of man with the beginning of creation and we celebrate each year to remi remember why do we have the us as people on this earth to mm -hmm. make peace and meaning on this world mm -hmm. and so each year we celebrate this year this holiday which is a renewal of the year we light the holiday candles to begin the holiday candles brings peace and serenity into the home peace and serenity into the year this year we're making a special worldwide campaign my niece is in a coma now for two years unfortunately mm -hmm. So and uh, we and she just turned three, and usually in Jewish tradition, when it, the girl turns three, it's time to begin lighting the holiday candles. She can't light. Her family are asking that everyone should light the holiday candles. Mm -hmm. And if you light already for the holiday, light it five minutes earlier so that you can bring in the holiday an extra five minutes of serenity into your life. Mm -hmm. So that's how we begin the holiday. That's special. You also have food. Yeah, tell like. us about this. It smells so good, too. Yeah. Well, yes. So we have, the, we have a couple of traditional foods. Mm -hmm. We start with the meal with a cup of wine. This is the raisin challah. We do all kinds of traditional things. Challah is a Jewish bread we eat for Shabbat and holidays. Mm -hmm. On Rosh Hashanah, we add raisins, so you can have a raise in your salary. Just kidding. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and uh, we do various traditions in order to add more, uh, more uh, content into the meal. Mm -hmm. And we also dip apples in honey, so you should have a happy and sweet new year. We eat honey cake in order to bring sweet foods mm -hmm. into the year, so we should have a sweet and positivity of the year as well. So those are the, some of the traditional foods we have on this holiday. Mm -hmm. And tell us about the casting off. What does that mean? So there's a tashlich prayer which we say on the second day of mm -hmm. Rosh Hashanah this year because the first day is Shabbat we go to the river and we cast away our sins into the into the water where the fish swim mm -hmm. where the fish who have their eyes open even while they sleep 24 hours a day mm -hmm. their eyes are always open we want that God should give us an open year in this year of mm -hmm. Tav Shin Pei Dalid, which in Hebrew is Tehei Shnat Delep Tucha. May it be a year of open doors. We should open doors to all possibilities this all year. Right. And that's well, our hope from prayer for this year. Yeah. And tell us about this horn. What's the significance here? So we, we blow a horn as part of the central commandment of the mitzvah as described in the Torah, is that you must go to the synagogue and hear the horn being blown. If you well, can't go to synagogue, you can hear it at here. home. We want to hear what it so sounds like. So we have the like. large horn, which is also mm -hmm. beautiful, but we we rather blow with the ram's horn. Okay. Because the ram was actually used in the binding of Isaac as a replacement for his sacrifice. Uh, Abraham took the ram, and right. then he had a good year and a good well, year of life. We're out of time, but can you get it in? Okay, for us let's real see quick? what we can get. All right. <laughs> Thank you for sharing yes. this with us so much, Rabbi. And he <laughs> Thank keeps you. going.